So our school is split up into four academies or career pathways um, where students um, are um, focusing on almost like a major, they're focusing on a specific career um, area. Not so much that they're going to go into that career, but just while they're in high school, something to be engaged in. So for example, we have an engineering pathway, uh, we have a digital animation and arts pathway, we have a law and justice or public service pathway, and then we also have a uh, Academy of Global Logistics, which focuses on business and works with the Port of Long Beach. But we also have a particularly special program called University Scholars, which is an honors program um, that any student can be involved in and still be in a pathway. So if you meet the requirements for that honors program, you're taking those rich honors and AP academic courses um, in, a, in a kind of a sequential base that you're getting maybe these extra opportunities for enrichment, but you're still also involved in the pathway. So you still get that engineering feel while you're taking AP US history or AP world history. You know, you're still connected back to your theme, the theme of your pathway as well. AGL has really helped me grow as a person and it's given me opportunities that I wouldn't have gotten in any other pathway. What's unique about our program is that we're partnered with the Port of Long Beach. As part of our pathway, students are exposed to the industry of global logistics, supply chain management, and international business. We go to the Port of Long Beach and we take tours with the students. We do a boat tour, we see the harbor, we get to see all the different containers and which terminal is does what and why. and we learn about the environmental impact and all that kind of stuff. What's special about this is one in eight jobs in Southern California are related to global logistics. So 40% of the goods that come into the United States come in through either the Port of Long Beach or the Port of LA. I worked with PMA, which is um, Pacific Maritime Association. They basically like, uh, they hire the longshoremen that work for the Port of Long Beach, um, like on the ships and everything like that. And so basically the whole summer, um, was looking over W-4s and I-9s, which um, it was funny because our boss was actually trying to get us familiar with the paperwork, but I took an accounting class that year, and so I already knew what all these forms were and how to properly fill them out, and so it was basically just reviewing the knowledge that I already have. Students have the opportunity to complete their education and go directly into the workforce through work-based certifications, or they can go in and continue their education at the community college or at the four-year level and major in international business, supply chain management, or global logistics. At Carrillo High School, the best program they should be involved in is the University Scholars. They could be in any pathway they choose and add on University Scholars as long as they have a 3.0 or higher. They will be taking rigorous courses, AP courses, even in freshman year, so that we could get them into a competitive college. University Scholars is about challenging students to do their best while they're also participating in the community activities as well. Now we have AP Seminar and AP Research, which are these classes to help students research uh, different opportunities and different uh, topics that they would like to. This is very beneficial because college is all about research. Any student who's college bound can have the same support and success in any of our pathways that they choose. So we have a counselor dedicated to those university scholars and um, some core teachers dedicated to them. And we work as a team to help make sure that they get support and are um, given many opportunities for the enrichment that they desire and deserve. 